Good morning folks, welcome back to a brand spanking new year. Uh, welcome back to Aimsball, thanks for, for tuning in. Today, I've got a very, very difficult experiment to do. And to be able to do that, I actually need safety goggles, so I went and bought myself a pair. Just hold on a sec. Right, best safety goggles I could find in the shop near me. Alright, so... What we're going to do today is we're going to test the theory or the myth Can a bullet be stopped by a cell phone? That's correct! In other words, why throw away your old cell phones if you can use them as a bulletproof vest? So that's what we're going to determine today I'll be shooting them with different guns today from sub 12 foot pound all the way to 60 foot pound from pallets to horned little pallets to slugs Alright, so let's see if you can refurbish your old cell phone to build yourself a bulletproof vest. Big, big disclaimer. I know there will be some idiots out there that's really going to build a bulletproof vest with this. Guys, this is just an experiment. It's just a joke. Please do not try this at home. Please do not go and try this theory on yourself with a big caliber gun. Be safe. Enjoy your shooting. Let me quickly go through how we're going to do this today. So I've got a very safe uh, environment. I've got some extra studio lights, everything brought in for this experiment. I'm going to shoot with the GoPro at 240 frames per second, see if I can't catch some of the actions there. I'm going to have a backstop just in case my bulletproof vest doesn't work. And then we're going to see, can this actually work? So first up, I'm going to shoot with a sub 12 foot pound uh, HW100. I'm going to shoot the JSB exact for uh, 8.44 grain pallets and then I'm going to go to those sharp pointy ones called the H&N Hornets. I think that steel point might just penetrate deep enough. So I'm going to shoot the sub 12 foot pound at one of the softer cell phones out there, a Blackberry. Who can remember a Blackberry? Damage report. Very, very little. Cracked screen a little bit. Didn't even crack the full screen, which is nice. Nothing penetrating the back. Huh, not too shabby. Let's shoot it with the sharp, pointy Hornet. Damage report. Not much to report. There's a small little hole, nothing through the back. The Blackberry is quite tough, impressive. BRK Ghost, 30 odd foot pound JSBs. Now that was an impressive feat. Parts flying all over the plate. Damage? Obviously some serious damage here. On closer inspection, the damage is just batteries flying around. No real serious damage. Wow. I didn't have any Hornets in 5.5, so I hit it with the Terminators. Totally ripped the poor Blackberry to pieces, but again, still no penetration straight through. Yes, it managed to get to the battery itself, pulling the battery out, but it didn't penetrate straight through. All right, time to up the ante a little bit. Let's go for a thinner phone, bigger screen, but a heck of a lot more power. Watch this one. FX Impact 26 grain slug. Point blank range. Uh, 
Now that was a serious impact, but yet no penetration straight through. Yes, it ripped the poor iPhone that it looked like an iPerska, but in any case, still not through. Yes, I hit it a little bit high. Let's try again. I think it is fair to say that I won't be able to fix the damage on this iPhone. <laughs> yes, these slugs hit so hard. That one is now properly buggered. I don't think anybody will be able to save that. Alright, let's try the softer iPhone 5. <laughs> hey, where did it go? Come on. Alright, so my first choice for a bulletproof vest might not be the iPhone 5. It might survive one shot, but definitely it won't survive a second one. Even the back is cracked for the first time. Not my first choice, definitely not. Let's go slightly bigger for the heavier chaps that needs more protection in their vests. This is a Walker 7, it's a mini TV. Bigger might be better. Three shots at 960 feet per second, 26 grain slugs, and not even a small dent in the back. This will definitely stop a couple of projectiles. Oh my greatest, I need to go and clean up this mess before the wife sees it. Um, this were the parenting laws. <laughs> that was mine, yeah. That was my wife's. Bye bye Blackberry. Cheers. Let me duck. <laughs> Alright. It is safe to conclude that you can see there's no marks on my safety bracket. You can actually recycle cell phones from the old soft Blackberries all the way up to the iPhone 6 where I tested as a bulletproof vest. How's that for an experiment? So let's quickly look at the damage. Ah, the poor Blackberry. Oh my greatness. Uh, I don't know where the battery is. I shot the battery out, it's gone. But if you look at this little screen here, not too bad. Three shots through there. None of them penetrated. The last one, the last little piece of lead is actually stuck in here. But I can safely say that uh, the Blackberry is no more. Sorry. Looking at the iPhone 6, now this little bugger, the thinnest of the lot, actually withheld the most impact. Now look at that, that is with a 26 grain slug running at 960 feet per second. That's a massive, massive impact. Two round holes, the slugs are still inside, they did not get out on the outside. Um, they did bend the cell phone a little bit, but still safe. Will it withhold a third shot? I think so. Will it withhold a, a semi-automatic? Mm, I don't think so. All right. Last one, this is my old TV, my Walker. Walker, let's do a Walker. Now, I had some recording issues here, but nothing serious. I got a nice one on the screen for you guys. And again, nothing went through. There's not even a bent in the back of this thing. It didn't even malform. It totally, totally worked. So, this is a nice chest plate. If you put this on your chest, they can't hit your heart. <laughs> now, that was a great experiment. Guys, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing. I'll see you in the next crazy one. Where's my safety goggles? Oh, there they are. Bye. That's all, folks.